Hey, thanks for making it to Veterans Info Tap. I'm glad you made it. Here's the headline. The U.S. Space Force wants to track abnormal observables with unknown origins in Earth's orbit. Interesting. Most of the time, these objects are launched by other nations. So, interesting. We'll check it out here and uh, jump into this article. And this is from uh, space.com uh, is where I found this article and wanted to share it with you. Um, just because it's interesting. So please hit the thumbs up, subscribe, share with a friend, all that good stuff. I really appreciate it. If you want to support the channel, consider being a member. Uh, it helps me to find you in the comments or you could just let this video run out and that uh, also helps to support the channel. I appreciate you. All right, let's jump into it here. The US Space Force wants to be able to identify and track mysterious objects in orbit. The Space Force's Space Training and Readiness Command or STARCOM which is tasked with uh, educating and training U.S. Space Force personnel, recently published a document titled Space Doctrine Publication 3-100, Space Domain Awareness, that outlines what space domain awareness is and how to establish and maintain it. In a nutshell, SDA means being able to identify, understand, track, and maintain custody of all of the various objects in orbit around Earth. Most of the document describes the need to maintain a safe environment by monitoring and tracking such objects as pieces of space debris, the ever-growing number of commercial satellites, spacecraft operated by uh, ad adversaries, and the, hazardous, and the hazards posed by the space environment and national debris such as uh, meteoroids or solar flares. However, the document goes on to note that operating safely in space also requires the ability to rapidly identify and respond to threats and hazards, including objects that exhibit abnormal observables and patterns of life and cannot by correlated and cannot by correlated to it must be B and cannot be correlated to any owner or point of origin. So what might these objects be is the question. Let's move on. Uh, most of the time these objects are launched by other nations. The Starcom document points out that it is imperative for the safety of space operations that the United States not only know where objects are and spacecraft are at any given time, but also know how they got there, who owns them, their potential capabilities, and their operator's intent. I agree. The publication goes on to outline the many ways this uh, ability can be achieved, including the use of radar systems, infrared and optical sensors, radio frequency monitoring, orbital space weather stations, and by using information produced by the intelligence community. Still, even with the multitude of ways the U.S. Space Force and other organizations keep track of objects in Earth's orbit, recent events demonstrate how some can go un, uh, un something unattributed there you go in one of the in one example in uh early 2022 a rogue rocket was sent uh hurtling toward the moon while most observers noted the rocket was likely a boost from china's uh 5-T1 lunar mission, China itself de den uh, denied the claim. China's refusal uh, or China's reusable space plane has also been ob observed releasing unknown payloads into orbit as recently as October of 2022. Earlier in 2014, space tracking stations observed an unknown object alongside three Russian satellites. It was believed to be either an anti-satellite device or an uh, inspector spacecraft, but it ultimately remained unidentified. In light of these and other developments, the Space Force is attempting to keep a closer eye on what's going on in orbit. In October of 2023, Space Force's Space Systems Command selected several private companies to help accelerate the development of new technologies related to space domain uh, awareness according to Space News. Earlier this year, United Launch Ally, Alliance launched United Launch Alliance launched the Space Force's 
uh, secretive silent Barker spacecraft designed to be a watchdog over satellites uh, in orbit, uh, the region of the space some 22,236 miles up that allows spacecraft to remain stationary above fixed points on Earth. And in 2022, the Pentagon uh, created AARO, the All Domain Anomaly Resolution Office. Huh whose mission is to attempt to detect, identify, and attribute um, unidentified space objects as well as those in air or water or those that appear to travel between these domains. So far, the office has found no credible evidence that any of these um, objects are extraterrestrial in nature or origin. But despite the need for more awareness of what is in space and who might be operating it, space domain capabilities for space awareness are still lagging. Space Force's Chief of Space Operations, Operations General B. Chance Saltzman, said in April 2023. All right. Whew. So that's from uh, space.com. And again, it looks like, um, obviously, I mean, you know, the, the Space Force is a baby. And um, although uh, there was the Space Command within the Air Force prior to this, uh, but it seems like they're trying to, um, you know, really kind of pinpoint their specific tip of the spear. Um, and I, I think that that's a good move to, to lean toward identifying and tracking and, and maintaining a log on who, what, when, where, why with uh, things that are floating around in space, especially when they're man-made. Um, to, to know what's going on, right? So uh, I think it's all good news. Um, nothing but uh, money, right? Money and time. That's it. So with that, I really appreciate each and every single one of you watching. Appreciate it so much. Have a great one. And remember, if we don't take care of each other, something went wrong.